Hello everybody, it's me, ProGameCuber17, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the 3x3 part of the 5x5 Rubik's Cube. Before we get started, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so now, before we get started, let's just check if all of our centers are right. So the order goes blue, orange, green red so that is right so now let's we have to ins we have to make the cross so that's one piece of the cross our red has to go over there so we insert that part right there orange has to go right here and green has to go right here and now that our cross is done, we have a few options. Doing it the beginner's method, inserting the corners, and then doing middle, or doing it the F2L CFOP method, where we insert corners and pairs both at the same time. So I'm going to show two beginner's method and two advanced method. In a future video, I am going to be showing you guys how to do CFOP. So now, let's just do a beginner's method pair first. So we insert the corner. And then we want to find the edge pair, which is right here. So let's take it out of there. Then we can insert it using the algorithm. Now if you do that on this one, Okay, so I just did two on that, so now I'm going to do two F2L pairs. So, our red's right there. Take out the corner. And now we can see the corner right there. That's our pair, so we put it back there. And then we want to insert it right here. And then orange and green. A few pieces did get broken while I was doing it so but that's fine so then we get it right here we insert this piece and then our last piece is right here and we want to break it and then insert it like that and then we have, so the first four lighters sold. And then it's just the next, we have to make the cross. This is where we can get an OLL case. OLL parity case, I meant. And then we get the cross. We get the line, and then... So we do it, and then we get the L, backwards L. Okay, now we have the cross. So then we do this algorithm. Okay, then we have, after we do that algorithm, we have the yellow side solved. Then we have to see if we have edge pairs, at the two corners oriented properly. We do. So we can do the algorithm for that. Next, we have to see what parts of the cube are not solved. So I want to show two different ways. One's more advanced and the other one's just normal. So I want to show the more advanced one first is when we move up to three layers and then we turn the top row, then we move up to two layers twice, turn the top row, move up to two layers middle two layers twice again turn the top row move it up once turn the top row twice bring down the middle two layers and then match up the top row and that would get it solved on the advanced way now i'm going to show you guys how to do it on the easier way okay so when we have it like this and we want to do it on the easier way we turn the top row twice we match up the middle 
and then we finish off the algorithm. And then we come down to these three, match them up, and then you would have the cube solved. So when I'm in advanced and beginners, I didn't mean it was a new algorithm for five by five only. This is just a three by three algorithm, but it can get some spots faster than the beginner's method.